Semcorp Marine has been in the red since 2018, with losses widening each financial year. In the first half of this year, it made even more losses of close to 650 million Sing dollars. The COVID-19 pandemic has added to the company's financial woes. These have all uh, led to the delays in the execution of our projects. And uh, in that sense, the risk of a project termination or cancellation uh, is elevated. And we, we have to address that. We have turned to uh, alternative sources of uh, manpower. And these manpower sources cost more than two times. The delays in the project execution uh, will also affect our revenue. As doubts grow over whether SEM Marine can continue as a going concern, analysts covering the stock believe the upcoming rights issue will help it to tide through the current challenging operating environment. There is about uh, 1.6 billion worth of loan uh, that's due within a year. Um, I think the rights issue is also uh, to help the company to fund their working capital, capital to complete some of the projects, especially those that are with deferred payment until 2022. More importantly, it also helped the company to service some of the uh, debts that may not be able to uh, refinance. Sam Marine has a net order book of 16 projects worth a total of nearly 1.8 billion Sing dollars as of end June. The company remains optimistic it will be able to realize cash flows from these projects when they fall due. We will complete uh, 14 of these 16 projects uh, within the next 6 to 18 months and therefore we will collect most of the cash flow during such period. There are two remaining projects which will be progressively be completed between 2023 and 2025 and they will contribute to cash flows over such period. But is this sufficient consolation for minority shareholders of Semcorp Marine? Over the past five years, they've seen the share price fall from as high as $1.79 to a low of 11 cents as of August 12th. That's a drop of 94% in their shareholding value. The main concern is the future performance of the company. Within a short period of time, they've had another cash flow. So this time around, what's up? Why are we being asked to give money? So they want to know from the company, uh, you know, what are your plans? How will you use the money? Many are thus balking at putting more money into what they fear is a sinking ship. The first one was mainly to use to repay the loans owing to SEMCOP Industries. There were about 600 million that was raised to fund the operations. But with COVID and the resurgence of uh, cases, there is a need to raise more to complete their current order book, um, as well as to help the company to chase new orders, if any. The cost cutting is probably one aspect that the company can do, um, but I think um, there's just so much cost that you can actually cut. To iron out the issues and address shareholders' questions, Investor Lobby Group, SIAS, held a virtual dialogue between minority shareholders and SEM Marine's management. Not one question was missed, largely on performance, future plans, how will the cash be used, you know, why so quickly, and uh, what can they expect. Of course, natural for shareholders to talk about share price. You know, whether share price will go up, it will depend on performance and uh, they keep telling that we will do our best. Whether shareholders vote in favour or not in favour, the decision will be known on August 23rd. For now, SEM Marine is just staying focused on improving its business fundamentals. The company diversified into green and renewable energy solutions in 2015. It's been able to leverage on its offshore and marine engineering expertise to expand in this space. As we go further away from shore, then naturally the wind speed, the wind energy is greater. However, as we go further away from land, the, the water depth is deeper. So therefore, the structure required to stay stationary at the same time, able to harness the energy, is required more of a, a, a development in terms of product solutions to meet that requirement. And SCM has this uh, uh, competencies because in the past years we are developing solutions near both the near shore to the offshore mid water as well as deep water also into the harsh environment. But that's not to say that the company is moving out of its traditional offshore oil and gas solutions business. Instead, it will focus on decarbonization of its offshore oil and gas solutions. 
because it will take some time before renewables significantly replace fossil fuels. Hence, the foreseeable years are day, traditional offshore oil and gas solution with lower carbon footprint will continue to be relevant. During this period of energy transition, Sam Marine harness opportunities on both sides with increasing focus on the renewable and other clean solutions. And SCM will continue to leverage its core offshore and marine engineering capabilities to develop further solutions for offshore renewables and other clean energy solutions, such as hydrogen, ammonia, and other alternative fuels. The traditional oil and gas segment should remain relevant, at least for the next five to 10 years. And this is because, in particular, the underinvestments in oil and gas uh, over the last uh, six years now due to the industry downturn. And because of such underinvestment, there is the need for catch up investments, at least to cater to the existing production depletion, which is about seven to nine percent per annum. Both uh, these segments continue to be relevant and important for us, at least in a foreseeable five to 10 years or so. Presently, slightly over a third, or around 34% of the company's $1.78 billion net order book comes from green energy solutions. We are presently actively tendering for more than 10 green projects, including in the renewable energy and gas solutions, and a similar number of the projects also in the uh, process solution space that covers the live loading production, storage and offloading that is catered for the uh, production of traditional fossil fuel. New orders visibility uh, has and will continue to improve for most of our product segments and solutions, uh, especially for renewables and other clean energy solutions.